Howdy, howdy. It is Monday night. (laughs) Welcome. Kim looks washed out and I look in the dark. So we've had a a studio malfunction, haven't we? Only one of our lights works. We blew our lights. So we're going for the shadowy effect. So it's Monday night and that means it's time for Let's Talk About. Um, Can I tell a joke? Sure. Oh, I get to tell a joke. Okay, actually, I'll tell a story. This is what I say at school. Would you like to hear a story? That way, if it's not funny, I can just go as a story. So there's this lady, middle-aged lady. She has a heart attack. Hilarious so far. No, <laughs> she's, anyway, she's in hospital. She's on the operating table. They're trying to save her life. And while all that's happening, God appears to her. And so she says to God, am I going to die? And God says, no. You've got another 30 years. So when she wakes up in hospital, she thinks, okay, I've got another 30 years. I'm going to make the most of it. So she books in for everything she can. She gets implants every place that she can possibly get implants. She uh, gets liposuction. And she even has those collagen injections to plump up her lips. So she walks out of there a new woman. Anyway, as she's, um, she's getting a taxi on the way home, she walks across to get the taxi, gets hit by a truck. And then she appears in front of God and God says, hi. And she says, what happened? You told me I had another 30 years to live. And he goes, yeah, sorry about that. I I didn't recognize you. So I guess the collagen worked then. (laughs) Ah, well, anyway, that's what we're talking about tonight. Are you ready to see your skin really (laughs) bloom? I thought you were about to say, are you ready to meet your maker? (laughs) Because it doesn't come out of my mouth. No, we are, we are talking about collagen, and that's because Young Living have just released a brand new product, the Bloom, what's it actually, what's it called? Bloom Collagen Complete. Okay, yep. yeah. I drove all the way to Sydney to get this so that you could see it live on tonight's video. In half darkness. That's right. So I didn't know very much about collagen, to be honest, um, other than I see people on Instagram sometimes stirring it into their protein shakes. And that, and I knew it was something for skin and beauty and that kind of stuff, but I didn't know a lot about it. So tonight, Jeremy's going to tell us a lot about it. So Jeremy, what is collagen and what you know what does it do? Okay, so collagen, the word actually comes from two Greek words. One's collar, which means glue, and the other one is gen, which means producing. So... Uh, Yeah, it was named collagen because, uh, well, originally because they would boil up the bits of animals, tendons, hoofs, all kinds of stuff, and that would produce glue. And interestingly, that's where um, collagen comes from. So collagen is a protein. There's 30 different types they've found in our bodies, but predominantly it boils down to one main one, which is collagen type one. and, and collagen really functions in our bodies like a glue. So it's like the basic building block that really hangs our bodies together. So you'll find collagen in your body everywhere from the cornea of your eye, uh, to your muscles, to your heart, to your skin, to your gut. Um, and, and yeah, it, it really hangs everything together. So it's the basic building block. Um, you'll find it in your teeth as well. So. Uh, it's fascinating stuff. I, I was researching it and, um, and the thing about collagen is it's really supple and it's really strong. In fact, gram for gram, it's got greater tensile strength than steel, which means, and, and tensile strength is how, how much you can pull it and stretch it and it not break. So it's actually stronger than steel. Um, and our, broad, our bodies produce collagen. And so I actually... Um heard Jen Knutson, the naturopath who spoke Mm. about it the other night, she was saying that we gradually decrease. So we have the most collagen, I think, around our 18 to sort of 20, early 20s. Um, Then by the time we get to 50, so when women hit menopause, uh, it's down to 50% of this amount of collagen that Mm. we had in our 20s. And then by the time we're 80, it's actually down to 75%. So the older we get the more we need collagen. And you can see the effects of that as you get older. All those things that we think of as natural aging. So hair thinning, because obviously, if you're not producing as much collagen, then you just can't rebuild the stuff that you need to rebuild. So hair starts thinning, um, 
you might have things like leaky gut syndrome, which is which means your gut becomes more porous. Uh, things like even your skin starts getting thinner, and you'll notice uh, as as you can see on me. And not on me. <laughs> that's right. You're still smooth like a baby's <laughs> bottom, but um, but yeah, your skin starts sagging because the stuff that's supposed to be holding it together. Uh, is not doing it as well. So two things happen, your body produces less of it and the quality of the collagen that it produces isn't as good either. So that's, you know, most of what we look at as aging has to do with the collagen production. And so who should use it? Well, as you said, I mean, once you get past about 25, they say that's sort of when you're at your peak, then collagen production starts to decrease by about a percent or a little bit over a percent a year as you get older. So I guess you can argue that um, if you're over 25, that you could actually benefit from having some extra collagen in your system. And what about lifestyle factors? Well, there's all kinds of things. Like obviously aging, that's the thing that we've talked about. But there's other things like uh, exposure to UV light. And I mean, we kind of know these things anyway. Like when you go out in the sun a lot, it it does affect your skin uh, and that's because of the uh, it's it's not good for the collagen smoking again you know you can often you can pick a smoker because they've, they've got a more lined face so that's not good uh, eating too much sugar actually stops your collagen production or it lessens it so there's those kind of lifestyle factors um, anything else you wanted to add to that uh, caffeine uh, mm. If you're exposed to EMFs, and obviously we all are because yeah. we all use our phones Screens. and, you know, even um, AirPods have major, you know, EMFs, all of that kind of stuff. That all affects our skin. Even gravity, because obviously as we get older, <laughs> gravity is pulling our um, skin down. Yep. But even things like um, if you haven't had a skin routine, like if you don't wash your face and moisturize and stuff mm. like that, um, or you've been using products that contain nasty toxic ingredients, yeah. then you can also benefit from collagen because they're going to strip some of the good stuff, the, particularly the moisture out of your skin because collagen actually helps, you know, put moisture back into our skin. Yep. Can I tell you about one of the big frauds? Well, it's not really, I don't know, it's more like wishful thinking, I think, that's been happening over the last few years. Sure. So I've seen lots of beauty products that have been advertised saying, you know, it contains collagen. And so, you know, people have lathered it on their skin and, and the idea was that that would, you know, strengthen their skin and give it more elasticity. The problem with that is that collagen molecules are actually too big to be absorbed through our skin. So really, if you're buying something to, with collagen to rub on, it's, it's wishful thinking and you're probably wasting your money. And I'm sorry to, to say that. So the only way that we can really benefit from collagen well, apart from, I guess, is, you know, people get these collagen injections in their lips. I'm not even convinced that's a great thing. But uh, ingesting it. So actually, that, that's the best way that we can get it into our bodies. And even when you ingest it, there's a particular size, isn't there, that's beneficial. Yeah. So um, I know with Young Living, they advertise it as 2,000 DA or Dalton units. Mm. Um, so anything less than that, like I think there's 1,300 and 2,000. They're the ones yeah. that are able to be absorbed and easily, uh, you know, more available to mm. the body. Whereas if they're bigger than that, yeah. then they're not as easily absorbed. So Yeah, so just quickly on that. So collagen comes, uh, type 1 collagen, which is the most prevalent is actually a triple helix. So if you know DNA, this is for the science geeks, DNA is a double helix. So two things that wrap around. Um, collagen is a tightly wound triple helix. So there's three strands that, uh, and that, which is why it's so strong. That's, that's why it's such a, an elastic thing for our bodies. So it goes from collagen in that triple helix, they hydrolyze it, which they basically do by, you know, heat, applying heat uh, and moisture. Um, and that breaks it down to what we call gelatin, which is the stuff that you find in gummy bears and you find in marshmallows and you can use in cooking. Uh, it's also what you find in bone broth. So that's the gelatin that they get out of the bones. But then uh, Young Living, they take it an extra step, which is they actually hydrolyze the gelatin and that breaks it down to these smaller molecules, which are called peptides. And they're the most easily absorbable into our body. So that's, that's why this stuff, hydrolyzed um, peptides, 
that is so valuable. And so I've heard that there's a couple of different types of collagen. So obviously Young Living has marine collagen, but yep. there are other types of collagen as well. Well, yeah, they get collagen from, uh, basically uh, you can get it from cows. So that's bovine collagen, which is uh, probably bovine and marine collagen are the two most um, well known. They also get it from chickens, chicken bones, and also from pigs. So. You know, it's when, when they were boiling down like horses' hooves and stuff, that will actually give you collagen as well. But Young Living went with marine collagen yep. for a couple of reasons. Um, mm. One was that, you know, obviously there are certain religions who can't have pig collagen. Yep. Um, and uh, also that marine collagen is actually 1.5 times more bioavailable yep. than bovine collagen. Yep. So, um, and... I guess it comes down to how it's sourced. So this mm. collagen, um, like everything with Young Living, has seed to seal. So we're very, mm. you know, worried about how things are ethically sourced and whether they're exposed to heavy metals and toxins and, th and things like yeah. that. So Young Living actually have partnered with a company, a French company, um, and whose name I'm trying to find. Where is it? Pepsin or something? Pepton. Pepton. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, again, I, when I saw that Young Living were sourcing it from um, Pepton, uh, I did some research. And the company, uh, they're, yeah, they're, they're ethical, they're environmentally sustainable. So um, they're all about clean, uh, producing a clean product. So that means no additives, uh, no preservatives in it. So they're, you know, I, I mean, I guess the fact is that Young Living is not going to partner with anyone who's not ethical and not sustainable and not environmentally friendly. So, yeah, you can relax when it comes to the sourcing of it. Yeah, and they have sourced it from, like, unpolluted oceans without yeah. heavy metals and toxins. And the four fish that they actually get it from mm. are tuna, codfish, I can't pronounce the other two. I think it's Tilania and Pangasius. <laughs> I've never heard of those fish. <laughs> but they're the kinds of fish, so um, that's how they get those. Yeah. So, and obviously, you know, one of the issues is if you're vegan, then, yeah. This product isn't for you, yeah. for and, vegetarians or vegans. And, and, and it is a problem, I guess, for vegans because there, there is no alternative, so... Yeah. yeah, and the thing about, um, I, as I say, I've seen a lot of people um, using powder collagen, and mm. one of the girls that was at our workshop on the weekend, she actually said to us, um, this light's like <laughs> making me so <laughs> white, yeah. um, the girl said to us that, you know, she uses a powder collagen, she always has to stir it into a protein shake or something yeah. like that, whereas what she was looking forward to with these babies is that it was a liquid that she literally just takes the bottle out of the fridge, and, you know, you serve it cold, chilled, it's in a glass bottle, you yeah. know, like our Ninja Red in a glass bottle. I'll give you one. Yep. Um, so it's actually 50 mils in the bottle. So you drink one of these each day. Um, what they recommend for improvement, so if you want to improve the look of your skin, uh, one a day for 90 days, so like a 90-day protocol. It comes in 10 packs or 30 packs, but one a day for 90 days. And then after that, you can do one every alternate day or three to five um a day so um, as I say it comes in beautiful glass so um, you know like everything Young Living has the oils you know in it aren't eating away at the plastic or anything so like I haven't that. tried this at all no right? Jeremy hasn't it's tried it I've tried it it but smells I, good I actually really really like it <laughs> Sarah Farrah was amazed because she doesn't like fish and she was thinking it was going to taste like yeah, fish no, no. being made from fish it doesn't taste like fish at all drink yeah. it and show you. and for those people who are worried about it, there's no fishiness in it it's the same with all um, with all or collagen it doesn't taste like meat or fish no okay all Should right we, here goes are we going? yeah okay you can tell who would win a sculling competition in our house no i wanted to savor it that's really nice it's actually really nice it's got grapefruit lime and um what's the other one? lemon oil mm. in it yeah uh what else is in it uh, it's got CoQ10, I know. Yep, so CoQ10, like the Omega Gize, uh, which is good for all your big organs in your body as well as your skin. Yep. Three other things which are really important for us to use collagen. Um, one is vitamin C. So that's part of the process of our body actually being able to use the collagen. Another is zinc and another is copper. So this little baby has... Obviously, it's got lots of vitamin C from... It's got wolfberry... Um, 
juice in it so that um, and also obviously the citrus oils so they're all providing some great vitamin C and they're um, high in D-limonene yeah. too so yeah yeah there's lots of goodies goodies in this to and this lots of antioxidants yeah. which is also a bonus so it's yeah. really really good for your skin like in as far as elasticity mm. um helps to improve the skin texture and smoothness so you know smooth like a baby's bum yeah. um and basically even strengthens the skin so if you want to look how you feel <laughs> well for some of you might feel a lot older but i know we feel a lot younger yeah. so if you want to look how you feel then give this a go we're actually going to